Hey, welcome to the Dan Lab. Today we're taking you on an adventure with us to go phage hunting. We're on the hunt for novel phages that infect Zymomonas mobilis, none of which have been found before. To find phages, first we have to find Zymomonas. And we think Zymomonas lives on or around apples, so we went out sampling at an apple orchard. After isolating a new phage, we must also proliferate the purified phages, generating enough copies to see the effects of the phages in tests, isolate genetic material for sequencing, and store the phages for future testing. To begin, we get our bacteria growing from freezer stalks. For Zymomonas mobilis, that means streaking a rich media plate and then using a single colony to inoculate an overnight stock. The next morning, we'll also start a fresh liquid culture in rich media before heading out to take our environmental samples. Phages live inside their bacterial hosts, so we have to find the bacteria to find the phages of interest. We don't really know what microenvironments Zymomonas mobilis lives in, so we took samples of soil, fresh apples, rotten apples, pressed apples, pulped apples. So we took lots of samples. To enrich for phages in your environmental samples, you'll also need an overnight bacterial culture and the media it grows in, cyclohexamide, which is an antifungal, magnesium sulfate. Remember to also start another overnight of your bacteria each night during this protocol so you can continue proliferating your phages. Set up an enrichment culture for each environmental sample that you collected. In a new flask with new media, add overnight culture, cyclohexamide, magnesium sulfate, and at least one gram or one mil of the phage sample. Grow it overnight as you would a bacterial culture. You want to grow up a dense culture of the host bacteria, which any phages in your sample can infect and multiply in. To isolate phages from our environmental samples, we are using layover plating. Transfer the enrichment culture that you grew last night to a sterile 15 mil conical vial. Here we've swapped in cultures grown in milk dilution bottles. You can also use flasks like we showed for yesterday. Centrifuge at 4C as needed to pellet debris. Here Tyler's doing just 1000 RPM for 5 minutes, but we've seen protocols that go up to 15 minutes at a maximum RPM, which for this rotor is 4700. To recover sample supernatants, attach a 0.22 micron filter to a 3 mil syringe and remove the plunger. Pour that supernatant from the 15 mil conical into the syringe, then push the sample through the filter into an epi tube or a new 15 mil conical vial if you want to collect a larger volume. Repeat this for all your samples. Melt soft auger aliquots in a boiling water bath. Remember never to heat a sealed system. Lids must allow gas to vent, and then transfer the soft auger tubes to a 55C heat block or bath. Label thin hard auger plates and warm them at 37C for about 20 minutes. Remember to include a phage-free control. When the plates and the molten auger all reach appropriate temperatures, grab your growing bacterial overnight culture. Add a small amount of fresh bacterial inoculum and a portion of your cleared phage extract to a tube of soft auger. Quickly vortex and then pour the tube over a hard auger plate. If you pour too slowly, the soft auger will get cold and fail to attach. If you take too long, your bacteria might be affected by prolonged exposure to heat. Use a flame to pop any bubbles if needed. Swirl to coat. Cool the plates at room temperature without any perturbation for 20 minutes and then check to make sure they've solidified before wiping the condensation off the lid with a clean Kim wipe and flipping the plates over carefully. Incubate as appropriate to grow your bacteria. Unfortunately, we didn't find any Zymomonas mobilis phages on our apple orchard hunt. But next, Chavin's going to show us what we would have done if we had found phages. For each phage plaque, we would start a fresh bacterial culture. These will be proliferation cultures. Using a sterile pasture pipette, carefully push the glass tip into the auger above the plaque until the glass pierces the hard auger below. Once you've trapped a plaque sample, immediately transfer the plaque auger plug into a proliferation culture. Incubate as appropriate for your bacteria. Repeat multiple rounds of layover plating and plaque selection to isolate pure phage sample. Thanks for stopping by. Happy hunting.